What's up everybody, this is Master Ian Gamer. Just a short while ago, we got another classic Jeff Kaplan developer update. This time, talking about 2018 and the sort of content and new additions to the game that we can expect to be seeing this year. While most of the things he talked about were pretty vague, which I think is fair because he doesn't want to spoil everything that's going to be coming out, he did drop a few noteworthy hints that I want to talk about because I think we can actually maybe learn a bit based on the way he worded some things pertaining to the upcoming Hero 27, as well as the events we're going to see in 2018. First off though, he did talk about the new Blizzard World map, which I originally had predicted to be releasing today. According to Jeff, it's going to be coming out sometime very soon. So maybe he means sometime later today still, or maybe it'll be on Thursday, or next week Tuesday. Of course, they never really give us specific dates for these things, which is why it's fun to always sort of speculate. But I would say look forward to Blizzard World literally coming out any day now. And right alongside Blizzard World is the new Blizzard Universe crossover skins, which he talked about as well. Again, he didn't give any specific date for when these were going to release, but he did mention that they were hopefully going to have them released sometime this month. I think he used the word hopefully just as sort of like a safety net in case something goes wrong. So I'm guessing that they're planning to release this month. And actually, I made a video about a week ago talking about my own predictions about when it'll be coming out. So if you want to check that out to see what I think the date's going to be, then just check out the card on screen. Anyways, moving on to the juicier details of this video, let's just hear what Jeff had to say pertaining to Hero 27. Obviously, one of the things that is most important to us is heroes. Overwatch is a game about heroes, and we are well along the path on Hero 27. Uh, we think the hero is going to be awesome. We think the hero is very needed. Um, the hero, we're not really sure exactly when the release date is. Um, the release date is less important to us than getting the hero right. We have the hero in internal testing, and so far we're having a ton of fun, um, and we're making a lot of great progress. I think the most interesting thing Jeff mentions here is that he believes Hero 27 is very needed. Now this statement actually kind of surprised me because personally, after Moira came out, I didn't really think there were any heroes that we desperately needed. Prior to Moira, we desperately needed a new primary healer, which she filled that slot well. At this point, I don't think we're desperately needing any kind of new hero, so I think it's intriguing that the Overwatch team themselves seem to feel that this hero is needed in some way. However, because they worded it this way, I think it's pretty fair to say that this new hero is either going to be a defense hero or a tank. The reason for this is we just got a new support healer, and obviously we don't need another, at least not yet. Offense heroes, we've got plenty of them, so there's no way we would need more of them. But then when we look at the defense heroes, we have yet to get a new defense hero since the game started. And it's possible that this is what the Overwatch team is referencing by saying that the hero is needed. They feel that they need to flesh out the defense class a bit more, and thus the new hero is going to be a defense hero. Additionally, this could also kind of apply to the tank class. The only new tank hero we've gotten since the game came out was Orisa, and that was almost a year ago at this point. As a tank main, I feel like sometimes I get a little tired of the tanks that we have currently just because I play them so much. However, I don't think I would say that we desperately need a new tank. I think it would definitely be beneficial to have a new tank, but I wouldn't say that it's needed. So maybe Hero 27 is defense, maybe they're a tank. I'm not sure which of those two, but I'm pretty confident that we can narrow it down to being one of those two. Now, the other big thing he mentioned here is that they're focusing on getting the hero to be balanced and good, and that making the hero balanced is more important than getting the hero out soon. So previously, heroes have released about every four months, and this might be Jeff saying that they're going to break that schedule. Maybe it's actually going to be five months until the hero comes out, meaning that they won't come out until like late March or even in April. Or just like earlier, as I was talking about with the Blizzard Universe skins, this might just be Jeff covering the Blizzard team's back in the event where they can't get them balanced and they have to delay it just purely out of the fact that the hero wouldn't work otherwise. And thus they don't have to break any promises they would have made by saying, oh, it's going to come out in March. 
I think we can probably safely assume that it will still come out in March, but I do agree with the Overwatch team that they should be focusing more on releasing balanced heroes than just getting out the next hero as quickly as possible. I think when done right, focusing so heavily on balance works really well pertaining to new heroes. I mean, look at Moira. She's probably the most balanced new hero we've gotten yet. And because she was so balanced, she was only on the PTR for like one or two weeks. And then she went straight into the live servers and she was perfectly fine. So I think we would all like to see future new heroes work in the same way, where we don't have to wait so long with them on the PTR. And instead, Blizzard will just kind of delay the initial reveal. Now moving on to the last prominent thing that I think we can kind of pick up hints from based on what Jeff talked about pertains to upcoming events for 2018. Upcoming very soon is uh, Year of the Dog will be um, this year's Lunar New Year event. There will be more details coming out about that, but I think that there's some pretty significant content that players are going to be very happy with. Um, and some other stuff that we've been listening to you um, give us feedback on that we're going to make changes on uh, during that uh, Year of the Dog event. Now, the fact that he mentioned that they are listening to community feedback isn't anything new. I mean, we know that the Overwatch team is constantly listening to the community and they often engage with us via the forums or Reddit even. However, the fact that he mentioned it specifically in conjunction when talking about new events, specifically the Year of the Dog event, makes me think that there might actually be some sort of change to the events coming in 2018. Personally, nothing really stands out in my mind as being a common thing people bring up about events. I can't think of like, oh, this should be done this way. Why do they keep doing it this way? Nothing like that comes to my mind. So I'm not sure what exactly he's referencing when saying that there's going to be some community feedback based changes. I mean, really, when it comes down to it, the only things that could be changed are the cosmetic items we get, maybe the cosmetics of the maps that they sometimes Sometimes change, and then the new game mode that we get with it. I don't think it would be applying to the maps or the game modes, because, I mean, people like those, but they're pretty take it or leave it. The real appeal of all these events is always the cosmetics, mainly the skins. So I'm assuming he's referring to that in some way. Maybe this means we're going to start seeing new epic event skins again, since we haven't gotten any of those since last year's Uprising event, which was almost a year ago. Or maybe it means there's going to be more emotes and highlight intros and fewer just pure new legendary skins. I don't know. I mean, I kind of thought that they shifted to making just primarily legendary skins because the community said, oh, we like skins the most. We don't care so much about that other stuff. I don't know. There's a lot of different avenues that this could go down, and it's really all speculation, as I already said. So I think the big thing is to just expect that things could be playing out a bit differently when it comes to the events for 2018. So maybe expect to somehow be surprised for Year of the Dog. In what way? I can't tell you. But it sounds like something might be different. Regardless, I was already excited for this event, and I've actually got some predictions videos for it planned coming out within the next couple days, hopefully. But now, on top of that, it sounds like the Overwatch development team might have some other surprises in store for us as well. Anyways, that'll do it for today's quick news video. Thank you all so much for watching. Please be sure to leave a comment down below regarding anything I talked about here today. You can check out the developer update video for yourself via the link down in the description. And be sure to leave a like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and hit the bell to keep up with all my future Overwatch content and also help out my channel. This is Master Ian Gamer signing off, and until next time, have a happy 2018 and a great day.